that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. And they've also shown dominance in the paint so far tonight, really putting the work in down low. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. From deep, Rose, three shots, three baskets. Great efficiency so far. Their ability to space the floor has been the story of this game. And what surprises me is the defense hasn't done anything to take away that three-point shot. That has been their preferred weapon tonight. The steal. Here's Pippen. He's guarded by Irving. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Oh! What a way to begin this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. Three-pointer. That shot, no good. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. The three is up. And again, it's Chicago with a three. Their offense is looking like a well-oiled machine, getting any look they want. Well, what great game planning, what great execution. It doesn't get much better than this. And it's good for two. Boy, that's beautiful touch on the floater. And let's remember, not everyone has that shot in their arsenal. From deep, Jordan nails it from three. Jordan's got 12 points now in the quarter. The three-point shot has been his weapon of choice this quarter. Tipped. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. And again, it's Chicago with a three. Listen, everyone knows what... Iverson, 22 points for him. Money on the 19-footer. He's got 24. Chicago with the ball. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Pippen. The crossover. And slam dunk by Jordan. Look out below. <laughs> you got no chance of defending him right there. We've got 22 seconds left to play in the first half. Here's Chamberlain. Here's Iverson. He's got 24. That one drops for him. Pretty dime there. The kind of ball movement coaches love to see. Now Jordan. From deep. Oh, with the clock running down, he nails a big shot. Big shot taker. Inside. Intercepted. And for Philadelphia. From deep, Rose sinks the tray. Rose has got 22. And Derek Rose knows how to score under duress of a defender, and he does so there. Here's Iverson. Got a hand on it. Jordan with it. Non-stop scoring machine right here. Oh, got that one up quick. They're leaning on him heavy, and he's responding. He can carry the load. Here's Greer, covered by Jordan. Pass to Malone. Oh, it's stolen away. And now the Bulls in transition. And slam dunk by Jordan. Their offense has been unstoppable, just firing on all cylinders. And at this transition. And slam dunk by Jordan. Their offense has been unstoppable, just firing on all cylinders. And at this point, it is their game to lose. They've done such a good job building the lead. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. To the paint to end the run. Malone can't get it to go. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. And again, it's Chicago with a three. Everything is dropping for them. Just a terrific third period run. And I think it's been all about their offensive efficiency, shooting the lights out in this quarter. Irving for three. And another miss by Philadelphia. Chicago with the ball. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. Rose with the bucket. 
they are unconscious from El Point range. Here in the third, he's really started to heat up from the perimeter. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Outside Irving. Down low. And he jams it after taking the nice feed on the run. It's just a great screen. And they got a high-powered finish out of it. And my question is, where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. You know, he's flat fueling their success. Most of the offense has gone through him. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Greer, no good. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him. Oh, oh, look at that. oh my goodness! Cocked it back and fired at home! He's a living highlight reel. Seriously, that could end up being one of the best dunks of the year. Yes. Here's Rodman. Six points for him. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. There's 45 seconds left in the third. Bulls foul. So it's both teams making substitutions here. First personal foul. First team foul. Substitution on the court. 41 seconds left in the third quarter. Love comes over on the double. Jones in the post. Butler covering. Jones' his shot is good. When you use it right, the pump fakes as effective a move as there is. Outside Butler. Back to Jordan. There's the drive. And slam dunk by Jordan. Well, terrific read from Jimmy Butler. He is unwilling to get sped up. He knows when to place the pass and where. Loving player on and off the court. Embiid continues to get better. One of the league's top big men. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Bulls? Well, the defense looks helpless trying to contain them in the open four, and they've continued to exploit this advantage. Another thing I thought they did well was pressure. They forced a ton of turnovers, turned those opportunities into points. Iguodala's check in for Jones. Always a bonus when points come from unlikely sources, and you can see this guy's been working on that shot. Pass to McGinnis. And here's Embiid. Oh, what a play. Just palms the block. Here's Noah. Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Shots good by Kukoc. And Chicago again with a bucket. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. Yeah, playing with great energy and great effort. And as a coach, you'd love to see this from your team every single night. Pass to Collins. From the arc. And they recover it. Chamberlain. Yes, it's good. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. And to me, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out. Levine against Collins. The three. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. Because Zach Levine makes these kinds of nights look easy. He has got everything in his offensive arsenal. Here's Hawkins. Can't connect. So no problem for Chicago as they get the win.